Welcome to a special edition of Cultural Capital, coming to you from the opening day of Freeze Art Fair, London's biggest and fanciest art fair, in which artists mingle, possibly slightly awkwardly, with collectors and gallerists schmooze for all they are worth. More than 160 international art galleries from London to Tehran to Rio to Seoul and beyond all gather in two tents in Regent's Park, hoping for big sales from big buyers. And it is a sight to behold. Eva Longre is the director of Freeze London, which is a contemporary section of the bigger fair. And Eva, I think this is your second in real life fair? My second in real life fair, my third fair altogether. Obviously year one was a complicated year, and it's the year where we had to do the digital fair. But now we're back with a capital B, and I'm very excited to be here with you. Tell me about it. So give, give us a, the lowdown on Freeze 2022. Tell well, me. we have 164 galleries showing, you know, lots of really thoughtfully curated solo presentations and group presentations and I think many of those really reflect on the institutional landscape in London so there are many artists who are showing in museums and institutions in London who are showing also at the same time at the fair. Many firsts this year that I'm excited about, first gallery from Ho Chi Minh City in Vietnam, first gallery from Manila in the Philippines and so really a fair that's opening up geographically and I'm really proud of this. How, why would you say the importance of uh, Freeze across Freeze Art Fair across the two fairs within the kind of London art world ecosystem? So it's you know it's really the moment where we all come together right so it's a, mom it's a huge moment of celebration across the whole of London across the whole of the UK we as a fair really take pride in being part of the wider ecosystem and working closely with non-profit organizations through the commissions, through the projects, through various prizes and awards that we have. But then also Freeze Week really expands beside, beyond the tent, right? And it's all the institutions in London that are putting together the most exciting exhibitions of the year. There are events and artist talks all throughout town. And so it's really an unmissable moment for anyone who's an art lover and a really great time to celebrate all things creative and artistic in London. Although both fairs, Freeze London and Freeze Masters, are predominantly focused on selling, there are a number of artist commissions, one of which is Emma Talbot's 21st Century Herbal in the entrance to Freeze London. We're with the artist Emma Talbot, who's commissioned 21st Century Herbal, is at the entrance to the fair. Emma, can you tell me a bit about the work? The work is a 28 metre long painted silk hanging with painted silk plants that hang down from it. It's a 21st century version of a herb. What's a herb? A, a medieval manuscript which describes the medicinal properties of plants or toxic properties of plants. And what I've done is research lots of different plants and described all of them with different, their different properties that were either ancient beliefs or contemporary understandings of the properties of the plants. And there's a mix of kind of superstitious belief about what the plants might be used for, as well as uh, things that we know, you know, for example, fo fox gloves are used for heart medicine today. So Spaceship Earth is a theory that was um, coined, a phrase coined by Richard Buckminster Fuller in the 1950s. He described the Earth as a spaceship, meaning that everything in nature, everything that we have on Earth, is what nature has provided us with in order to survive. And he was describing in the 50s that we should protect this connection to nature, our relationships with nature, in order to continue as a planet that survives. And it, it's a shame that he was saying that in the 1950s and we still haven't quite understood the message in a really, really proactive way. So it's a, a piece of work that advocates for that message and tries to uh, reinforce that this idea actually is a kind of incredible idea when you think about how much potent magic is locked in plants and the natural world. So interesting.
interesting, you know, last year when the fair first came back in real life for the first time after the pandemic, it felt so different. Everyone was just so relieved and excited to be there after that awful time. This year, second time, it feels different again. In other words, it feels the same. That sort of weird, urgent energy that especially Freeze London always had is back. And that does make it a bit more stressful, but perhaps it's a good thing because what it means is that Freeze and London's art world is finally getting back on track. <laughs>